It is finally here. This is the Dualtron Storm Limited Range Test. Finally, I was able to do it. And let me tell you, God, this was took me so long to do. It was hell. But since I got my Dualtron Storm Limited, everybody keeps asking me, and even other related videos, where's the range test? Can we please get a range test, range test, range test? We really wanted a range test. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, you know? And it just took me so long to do it because I'm so busy and all that, but I kind of factored it in with work, with some of my deliveries, but it was really tricky because, you know, I had to estimate how much miles I was gonna get. I wanna get stranded on delivery, so I had to work it into there, but I figured it all out. And there was some alterations to it. I kind of changed what I said I was gonna do, but I gave you guys multiple settings, okay? Some of them, the differences aren't that big, but it's multiple settings so you can get a very good idea of what to expect. So without further ado, let's check it out. Here's the range test. Um, I hope it helps. Now for the power side, it's understandable. You know, something that goes 60 or 70 miles or 65 miles an hour isn't just to be going fast, you know, all the time. That power could be channeled for inclining, okay? You may live in an area where there's a lot of hills, okay? Having that additional power lift helps you to propel hills, propel up hills at ease with no problems, just really, you know, smooth. That's what, that's a good thing for that power. Also acceleration. Some people like a really strong, crazy acceleration. The more power you have, the faster your acceleration will be, the stronger it will be. You may want to burn out, just show off in front of people like, when you hit that, the more power you have, like on my Storm Limited, when you hit that damn thing, it's just, people are like, what the hell? Like, you know, they're just, when you want to show off, but that's not going to do justice for your front tire. I'm going to tell you that, don't do that shit. <laughs> now, how I had mentioned ages ago that I was going to do six different settings, three would eco in and three would eco out with various settings, like lowering this, raising that, you know, experimental kind of thing, getting, seeing how much range I can get with this, you know, lowering acceleration, lowering the overall power percentage, you know, various settings. I was going to do three and three. Uh, I ended up having to alter that. So, but I think I took one off, so it's like five. But um, the one that I took off is, uh, I forgot what part it is, but it, even though I took it off, it gives you a good, a really good idea of what to expect because it was an unexpected result. You'll see it in the video and you'll see why, you know, because I started to see a lot of diminishing returns unless if I were to lower the power, the overall power, which I didn't want to do. Uh, you know, I'm really picky about how fast I go and all that. You'll see what it is in the video, but yeah. All right, so now, Aside from the GT2, let's get into a scooter that has three times the power and range, the Dualtron Storm Limited, that is over $4,000. $6,000 scooter that apparently I can't afford because I don't have the GT2. But whatever, let's go. All right guys, we are back in, getting ready to do part one of the Dualtron range test, Dualtron Storm Limited, as you can see right there. There's the Limited, it's at a full charge. This is gonna be part one, okay? So, as you know, I'm gonna be doing six different settings, three with eco pushed in, three with eco pushed out, various settings, okay? So this one, this first one, I'm gonna do eco out first. So as you can see, eco is out, see it from the slant and everything is on the highest setting. So let's get her fired up. Getting ready to leave anyway. So. All right, full battery right there. It charges to 95 because that's how the chargers at Mini Motors come, but uh, full, full charge is 96, but it's really no fucking difference. Like it's not gonna do anything. But anyway, so let's do the settings here. P7 is at one, okay? Now I put P7 to one, it could go to zero, but it's really not gonna get you an extensive amount of extra range, it's not gonna do anything. Zero is just no curve at all, just makes it go crazy. It makes you go a little faster, 
because there's no curve but it's really no difference uh, one is just to make it more comfortable it's still using all full power so seven is at one eight is at 100 and then nine at three motor torque highest level three eco pushed out so all right we are going to test this and see what we get with the highest settings pull out it should be a good yeah. amount of range because the battery is big so whatever it's going to be you know it'll be as as far as you can get with the biggest battery at least at least the biggest battery available now so trip should be at zero okay. well. mm -hmm. uh, where's trip? there's trip we're at zero so yeah. we'll see what we get and i'll let you know all right let's let's head out all right guys so part one has concluded all right so this is the very first test this is the Dualtron storm limited on the highest setting everything max settings now when i told you guys when i started uh i left the acceleration on one but i said ah you know what fuck it put it to zero let's go full full power want it to be a legit full power not something janky so i put it on zero so now the kind of speeds i was getting from this was crazy okay so consistent all the way through the board except for when you're at ultimate zero where you got to kind of finesse the throttle and when i finesse the throttle i was getting about 35 to 36 miles an hour maybe 30 35 36 37 throughout the entire time we're hitting 50 plus okay we're hitting 50 plus uh whenever i'm able to do 50 plus um the lowest was about 48 uh 49 but mostly 50 plus throughout the whole time which is phenomenal 200 pound rider so yeah it's amazing we are finished with this one this one went a pretty fair amount of time the last one is the one that's going to take a long time i know it but this was all full settings but it still has a big battery so it still took a little bit of a while um seems like a pretty good wow for you know 45 amp hour battery so Let's check the stats. Let's check the miles. Okay, this is kind of blurry, man. All right. Uh, it's not focusing well, but. Okay, so trip, we got 51 miles. Just making sure that's trip. Let me look at it with my real eyes. Yeah, it's trip. So we got. Sorry, it's not focusing. 51 miles on the highest setting. And as you can see, it is in fact at zero. Confirm to you that all settings are on the highest. Seven is at zero. Eight at 100. P3 motor torque. Eco is definitely out, as you can see from an angle. So that is the first one. The next one will be eco out on what I would figure out or consider what is considered the middle, a good middle setting. Okay. And then we'll do lowest without eco out. All right. So the next one, we'll see what we get. All right, guys, we are back in getting ready to start part two. Okay. So this is going to be part two of the Duotron Storm Limited range test. Okay. So. This is what I'm going to consider the middle. I figured out what I want to start with uh, and what I consider the middle uh, with Eco Out. You know, because with Eco Out, I don't want to go too slow. I want to go considerably fast considering it's popped out. The more slower speeds are going to happen when I do Eco Pushed In, when I do the last three. So, let's see what we got it at. So, I decided to go with here full battery as you can see p7 is at level three it's going to probably be on level three on all of them because the middle is just fair i want too slow acceleration now p8 i'm starting with 50 i'm going to see how it is if it's extremely slow 
I'm gonna have to bump it up. If it's at least 40, I wanna at least stay in a 40 mile an hour range. That seems decent for the middle. Okay. And of course, uh, P9 at uh, level two. And then eco mode is out. All right, so we'll see what we get with this. 50% uh, power. This thing should still be hitting a decent speed. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I had the eco pushed in and I tried to do 50% um, power, it might be a little bit lower. But we'll see what it is. Um, if it's too slow, I'm going to um, pump up the uh, power percentage. But um, And then as it gets lower, um, like let's say if I'm getting 40, 40 plus, that's decent. But I want to cap at like a 43 or a 44 or something like that. I don't want to go to like 45, 47. You know, I want to keep it in that range. That, that was uh, the first one. That was like 50 miles an hour plus. So that's just all out. This one is going to be, okay, let's cap it like 40 to 44 or something like that. So I'll check it out. I'll let you guys know what 50% power does. If it's good to a certain point, then after I'll increase it to stay at a 40 to 45 or 44 uh, mile, mile an hour cap. So, all right, let's start part two and see what we get. All right, guys. So... We got a little bit of a dilemma here. <laughs> so, this is supposed to be part two. Um, you guys saw the settings that I went with. Uh, we're gonna drain it down and see how far we get with this. Apparently, you know, on a lower setting. But, this is gonna be considered like an added bonus. Just consider this a bonus in like one of the parts. Um, I'm going to charge it up and redo it again because the amount of miles that I'm getting, it's at 82 volts right now. It's almost, you know, it's still got a good little ways. Not that much. Like, it's going to be at 70, 70 volts when it's low. Um, probably up to, like, let's say 76 volts. Then it starts to go down fast. But at 82, that's you can get a good amount of range before this dies. So, um the problem is is that the mileage is too close to full settings because as you guys remember I got I got 51 miles on part one and that's full power full settings top everything maxed out which is really good for a 200 pound rider um, at the highest setting 50 miles is nice um, but the point of the eco mode not pushed in is to be able to you know keep good high speeds but save the battery as much as possible in a reasonable manner because we all want to, you know, move, but we don't want to move too slowly. Um, the last three with eco mode pushed in, that's where I really want to focus on the battery saving. So I've decided to redo this and do different settings. This is not a bad thing because now you guys will know what you'll get if you put, you know, what do I have it at? Um, Acceleration at level three, uh, P9 at level two. I think what's causing it to save so much battery, which is not a bad thing, but I don't want to save too much because, you know, I want to save that for the last three. And this got 48. Right now I'm at 48 miles with 82 volts left. That's way too close to 51. I'll probably get the same thing or probably even more. So the 50% battery that's doing it. So. For the first three, I'm gonna do eco mode out 100% on all three. Um, and I'm just gonna change really the motor torque. So I'm gonna just change like motor torque to level two, but I'm gonna keep it at 100. I'm gonna keep acceleration at in the middle, which is level three. And we'll see what we get then because this is way too close. Now let me show you just to uh, see for yourself. See, I'm at 81 volts, right? The battery is dead at 70 volts. So there's still a good amount of uh, range I can get that could get that pretty much 51 or, 50, you know, the same thing. So um, let me show you. So I'll keep that at level three. This right here. Oh, yeah, at 50%, I put it to 55. It, remember, I started at 50, but I put it to 55 because... I wanted to stay within the 40 mile an hour threshold and it started going below that and I wanted it at a consistent 40 
to like 44, 45 miles an hour, um, you know, but obviously at 50 percent, it kind of started to go slower. So I raised it to 55 and it was and it helped. But main point is you're going to have to redo this because, yeah, that's just way too close. So let me show you the amount of miles. See, trip 48 miles. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good thing. So now you guys know on a 200-pound rider with 50% power, um, eco mode out, um, uh, overall motor torque level 2 will get you that amount of miles. So that was saving quite a bit. So I'm going to redo it on 100, and we'll see what we get. I'm going to do 100s all across the board and just change the um, overall motor torque and leave acceleration, overall acceleration to the middle all right all right guys so we're back in and we are done with part two i just ran it all up and down all up and down the street trying to drain the battery it takes so long uh plus i've been using it for work i really need to use it for work uh so yeah let's see where we're at so uh, it's kind of blurry sorry about that so we got a trip of 52 miles okay so comparing to uh part one that's only like one mile of a difference part one was full out full settings 100 percent power uh, full motor torque i even went to level zero on uh acceleration so that was max 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 and we got 51 miles okay now with this by just altering the overall motor torque um, pretty much only saved a little bit. Uh, so I got about, I got 52 miles, right? So that's only like one mile extra saved. Now, as far as speed goes, it was uh, pretty much the same as part one. Uh, I'd say it was slightly slower, but no surprise there uh, considering how close the miles are. So you can gain an additional mile. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much the same speeds. It's part one. What we're looking at now pretty much is diminishing returns. If I do part three with um, just overall motor torque being the only thing changed, putting that to level one, the difference is going to be very small, just like, um, you know, part two. So there's really no point of doing it. And you have a pretty good idea from part two as of what you can do with the 50% battery. I mean, five is going to be enough. Uh, when I get into my last three, which is going to take the longest, that's going to really show you how much battery you can truly get off of this with a 200 pound rider um, plus gear or whatever else you have on. That's what's really going to be taking effect. Plus, I want to get this done quickly because I'm using this for work. I really need to use this and my storm over there. I need both of these scooters for work. So and with these settings, you know. It's kind of slowing me down, but I'm doing it for you guys because nobody else is really out there with a good, you know, um, range test, a true range test on this. You know, I keep it real. Everything's real here. No fake shit. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump over to um, the next set of three. Eco mode pushed in. These are the last three. Uh, this is going to be the most uh, power uh, savings. I'm really going to focus on power saving on these last three. Uh, so you can really see what you can get out of it range wise for as much as I can stand. I'm not going to be going like 15 miles an hour. I can't do that, but I'm going to figure out what I'm comfortable with. And then you guys can get a good idea off of it, but I can't do the 15 mile an hour. That's probably the only way you're going to get this, this crazy ass marketing scheme, 136 miles off one charge. It's, it's not going to happen unless if you're going like five 10 15 miles an hour and you weigh 140 but anyway all right let's get into these last three settings all right guys what is up this is going to be part four the part four range test on the dualtron storm limited all right so as you can see it is the limited all right now since this is the first one for the last set of three um this one's going to be only full power Everything full power except for eco mode. So it's only going to be eco mode. Um, as mentioned, this is going to be the test 
where all three ecos are pushed in okay it's gonna be kind of like the same thing but just the eco mode is pushed in on everything and then i'm gonna alter the settings when i get lower as well so all right so this is part four let me show you the settings oh, man. all right so full battery seven we got to put that's at one p8 p9 is at level three uh so yeah i'm gonna drain this and we're gonna see how many miles we get on this uh version all right all right guys so i just got back in and part four is finished um this is the highest test uh for eco pushed in so everything is on the highest setting except for eco so you guys are gonna get a pretty good idea of all these multiple settings of what you can do, what you cannot do. If you're not my weight, which is 200, you know, just calculate it, whatever. But this gives you a pretty idea, good idea of what you're gonna get on the uh, Limited. Now this one, uh, I got it down pretty quick. I just got done running it around the block a whole bunch of times, trying to get it to zero, it took a while. But I wanted to try to get this one done today, so. I was able to get it done and uh, let's check and see where we're at. All right, so as you can see, we are at zero, 72 volts. Okay, now let's see what the mile are. So trip is uh, 60, wow, that is interesting. Hmm, okay, 60, wow. That is actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, 60. Wow, that's uh, pretty interesting there. But, okay, that's pretty damn good for the highest setting on Eco. Okay, now for the speed. The type of speeds I was getting, the low, low, lowest, because when I got to like, I run it all the way down to zero. So when I get to like 10% or 5% or something like that, I really finesse the throttle so I do not go past 69 uh, volts just in case if the BMS has cutoff protection because the cutoff is 69. Uh, I don't want a voltage sag all the way down to like, you know, 64 or something and then it cuts off when I still technically have battery. So what I did was I, um, I just finesse the throttle and hold it like so that it doesn't pass you know go under 69 and i was still going about 33 miles an hour now you can gun it but you never know this could cut off from voltage sag so uh so the lowest 33 miles an hour uh throughout most of its lifespan even at 25 percent 30 40 i'm going 45 plus so yeah it's pretty amazing so for the highest setting on eco with no hills no wind and warm to hot weather, you're getting 60 miles, dude. That's pretty good, man. That is good for the highest setting. Now, Eco is pushed in. So, but yeah. So, uh, now we can head over to part five and see what kind of results we get there. All right. All right, guys. So, the Limited is back to being fully charged. So let me show you the settings. So this is gonna be, as you can see, it's full charge, 95 volts. This is gonna be what I consider to be like in the middle, okay? I've decided to go with, let's go back all the way around. P7, still on level three, that's in the middle. P8, we're gonna start at 50, I'm gonna see how this feels. And then motor torque is now on two. So I'm gonna see how all this is. If it's not too slow, we're good. Now we're at zero, okay? So we'll see what we get from this. Uh, I'll let you know when the time's up and we'll see the results. Or I may stop from time to time, let you know what I changed, you know, just like last time. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so I arrived here and 50% power was just not cutting it. <laughs> I upped it to 80, I believe. Let's just double check. 
stay here. Eight. Yes, I upped it to 80. Okay, now I think this is pretty good settings. Let's go over all of them. So I have overall power at 80. Let's go to six. Seven is at three in the middle. And then, yes, and then motor torque is at level two now. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the only small update, only thing that changes. Oh, now the speed. The speed I'm getting, it was showing, it was capping out at 34 to 35 miles an hour. All right, that's it. We'll see what we get from this. All right, guys, so this is the next day of part five. I forgot to mention, this is part five. Um, and yesterday, I told you guys I set it to 80% and I was getting around, um, 34 to 35 and then you know as I came in today it was kind of slower so I'm like nope I'm sticking to 35 or at least 33 to 35 I'm sticking to that so I bumped up the power to 85 just to show you Let's see. 8 is at 85 so it was at 80 and now it's at 85 you know just to keep that um, 34 to 35 mile an hour and I'll, I'll keep saying it, like I said, you can use the gears to make it easier, but I just prefer to do it by power percentage. Um, but yeah, and, I'm, and we're at 86 volts, 66%. So yeah, check up on it later. I'll give you another update as we go. All right, welcome back guys. So this is part five, the second to the last one. So this went kind of fairly fast. You know, I'm assuming part six is gonna be uh, the slowest. Uh, I'm not ready for that. I'm, I'm not going to want to deal with that one. But this is part five and it has been completely drained. So let's check. It's at zero now. Let's see how many miles. Okay, so trip 64 miles. Make sure that's trip. Yeah, it's trip, but it's just hard to see. This is like actual real world um, testing. So now you guys will know how much more you will get over, there's my storm battery charging right there, how much you will get over a storm. So obviously this was only, um, this only gained four more miles to the previous one, which was 60. Uh, and that's pretty much due to me upping the power. Um, because as I said, I just cannot tolerate anything slower than these settings, 30 miles an hour. You know 30 to 33 30 to 34 miles an hour uh that's pretty much all i can really do so um if you guys were to do this yourself you could have kept the same settings got more range but you know i just couldn't tolerate it. but it still gives you a, a great idea of what to expect because as you guys remember i started at 50 percent power then i upped it to 80. i when i first started at 50 percent, i was like oh hell no this is way too slow then I upped it to 80 and it was decent, but as time goes by, the battery drains, obviously. So, I ultimately got 95, ultimately ended up at 100. Now, remember, you could, you guys could adjust this more easily. I know I said it a bunch of times, but uh, with the uh, gears at the top, changing it by the gears instead of the power percentage, I just felt more comfortable using the power percentage. But, yeah, so, four more, four more extra miles than the last one, but... Uh, like I said, you guys could get more miles. There's so many different um, variations and whatnot, but this should give you a good idea. Now, for the last one, I'm going to make sure I can get max amount of mileage. You know, I'm just going to be going really slow, as slow as I possibly can, but I'm going to make sure it makes a difference uh, because it's the last one. And, you know, I want you guys to see what you can get at the max, the much that I could tolerate. And that one's going to take a long time. I won't be able to use it for work because it'll be too slow. So, yeah, guys, I just hope you guys appreciate it because it's really taking a lot of time out of my life. So, now, again, I do hate doing these low speeds, even this 30 to 34 mile range. But um, at the same time, I think it's a, a pretty good amount of speed to test at, uh, you know, for a battery for a middle range for uh, part five. I think it's I think it's reasonable. Uh, so remember this will be going between 30 to just to be safe between 30 
to 34 miles an hour. It's probably 33. I, I really kept it at 33, 32 to 34. But just to be safe within those ranges at all times, I think that's pretty fair because those kind of speeds are kind of like, you know, mid middle speeds, average speeds. You know what I mean? Not too fast, not too slow. It's right in the middle. So that's another reason why I do it. But for this last one, oh, my God, you know, I'm going to hate it because I'm going to have to go slower than that in order to get, you know, more miles. So, oh, God, here we go. So I'll see you on that one. Let's do it. All right, guys, so this is the last and final test. This is what this is what's going to show the maximum amount of miles you can get on this scooter pertaining to my personal lowest settings because it's not officially the lowest lowest, but it's close enough. Um, this is the, the one we'll be waiting for. We're going to see how much you get pertaining to my weight. Um, yeah, this is like pretty much the grand finale, pretty much. So this is part six. The final analysis of how much miles you can get on the lowest settings pertaining to my specific lowest settings. I just want to mention that I know a lot of people would like to see going like 15 miles an hour because it probably might be what's possible, like close to 100 something because you're not going to get that on a regular, you know, riding like with moderate speed going 40 miles an hour. You're not going to get that on this. You know, that's just marketing. This is something that I knew. For sure, I know I get a little bit more than my storm, you know, or a good decent amount more, but it would, it probably wouldn't be like significant more. But the point is, it was a bigger battery. That's why I bought it. And I know for sure it will get farther than my storm. So you just have to, you know, you know, see the marketing schemes, but do the research and, you know, find out a realistic mileage that you're going to get. So. With that being said, I'm not I'm not going to be able to do the 15 miles an hour because the way that I'm testing this, remember my storm was offline. I got my storm up and running and I'm going to be using my storm for my deliveries, which is a whole nother story I will tell, which I'm so happy that I got the storm because if I didn't have the storm, I would not be able to do deliveries using that old brain with that extra battery. <laughs> I'm going to show you why the storm is so good. But anyway, um, I cannot go 15 miles an hour. It's just deathly slow, okay? I I try it and I'm like, dude, because I'm going to ride this to work and back, which I think is like four miles or something. We'll check because it'll be fresh. It was fresh when I took it from the start, fresh, brand new battery. And this is the first time I rode it from my house, you know, to the job. So we'll see what the actual mileage is right now. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, it ain't going to be 15 miles an hour, but... I did set the power settings low. I think I put the power uh, percentage on 60. Um, I got the acceleration on level three, which is the middle. I'm going to do level three for all of them. Like I said, I just can't have it too slow. And then motor torque obviously is on, you know, level one, you know, the ultimate motor torque. I'm going to see how I'm going to do it. But um, yeah, so what what I was really trying to achieve was, okay, 15 miles an hour that's fine but I was trying to I, I was trying to remember how it felt the speed of a lime or a bird scooter right because it should at least if you can get the equivalent settings of the equivalent speed of a bird scooter or a lime scooter you know you know the ones that you see on the street that you can rent out with your phone you just scan your phone or whatever um that would be the equivalent of like a decent speed and they set it to like what they think is like a decent speed like 15 to 20 miles an hour or something like that but uh they've upgraded them and they you know they're if you've seen them on the street they look a little bit more bigger and beefier so i they go a little bit more faster so what i ended up doing is i was you know testing from you know the throttle and it says i was going about 26 miles an hour or something uh which it's still it's still slow i mean it's not using that much voltage so i think Personally, I think that's going to be good settings for what I consider as my lowest. Now, if you want to calculate what it would be for 15, I mean, just based off of my weight, which is 200 pounds, um, just say, okay, if he got that, if you know math or whatever, uh, realistically, my weight, I should probably get this much of 15 miles an hour. So I don't know. But let's take a look at it. So I'll show you my settings here so we can know. Okay, so I got, I came from here to my job and we're at 90 uh, four. So, you know, of course, cause it's so low, it didn't really use that much, but 
I think I'm like four miles. Let's find out here. Now let's find out how many miles it is. Let's see. Trip. So, you know, 5.8, kind of like what I said, four miles or something. So, you know, that's pretty good. So each day we're going to be traveling about 5.8 or 5.8. I'm going to do the same route every single day. Here to my job, here to my job. Now, if something happens where I need to use the limited, if something happens to my storm, there's a tire or something, I'm going to have to cancel the whole thing and redo it again. So I hope I don't because I need to keep the battery at the same until it's completely dead. Um, but until then, we should be good. So as you can see, this is trip. See what says trip. I reset it to zero. And from riding from my house to here is 5.8. So we got that. Now, let's check the settings here so I can show you. Okay. So P7 acceleration is at level three, okay? Now, you know, I put this to level three. Now you could put this on level one, like the slowest, which would be five or something. But I honestly think it'll make a, a negligible difference from three to one on lower settings. You might get maybe one mile or maybe half a mile. I don't think, I really don't think you'll get that much. What, the reason why that acceleration is the middle, you know, in my opinion is because zero is actually counts as a number, right? So you got zero, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So technically all those together is six. So if you wanna kinda consider something the middle, it would be three, right? So three is kinda like the middle. Okay, um, so let's check the other settings here. I think I put the other power setting on 60, let's see. Yes, 60% power. This is the overall overall power percentage. You know how we're always showing this. And you know, yeah, just leave it always at 100 or whatever. But now we're testing for range. So I put it to 60. This is what gives me 26 miles an hour. Okay, and then um, obviously overall motor torque is on level one. Eco mode is pushed in, as you can see from the angle. That's where we're at now. I'll update you. Uh, maybe after a week or something or maybe I'll, I'll go each time and we'll see how much miles I get over time uh, before it runs out so all right let's do this long journey <laughs> all right guys so this is gonna be a little update after a couple of trips or whatever so this has been five trips okay to work and back to work and back and then to work which is today so five trips so far just taking a little, you know, checking up on it. I'll give you another check, but maybe I'll wait until like, you know, half or something and then we'll check again and then I'll show you how it is, you know, when it's uh, at zero. But let's just see for now. So we're at 85%. Uh, let's check the miles. So we're at 30 miles so far. So uh, this is what we're looking at. Uh, we're gonna see where it's gonna end up with um, at the end with my setting. These are with my personal settings and whatnot or whatever. But uh, yeah, what I the lowest that I could do because I can't go too slow. So yeah, all right. There's that update. I'll update you after a while. We'll see where it's at. All right, guys. So it's day four. Um, just here to give you a little bit of an update uh, now. I've been riding it. We'll do a little check too. Uh, I had to, I was gonna give the update later, but I have to do it now because, you know, yeah. Well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> so, I, I've been riding it on these same settings. You know, I didn't change anything, and you know, I noticed had started to slow down, and it was only a little bit. So, for my initial settings, from what you guys remember, I was getting like. 25 to 26 miles an hour and that's even like so annoying for me like but it's like kind of doable right um and then after some time of riding it or whatever of course i guess because the battery is reducing so i got 24 miles an hour and that is just hell dude like that's just so slow guys i i know i wanted to keep it all the same and keep it low but i just can't do it man 26 miles an hour is still really, really slow. So, I mean, even though I'm doing this and I'm not doing anything lower, like 15, you can still kind of calculate off of it. But realistically, most people will not want to go 15 miles an hour um, on this scooter, you know, even though it's saving power. Uh, it's just, it's just so, oh, it's annoying. Plus, 
you know, I'm in California. It's really hot out here, guys. Like, you, if you've seen in the news, we're having record heats. It's burning up. I don't want to be going, like, super-duper slow trying to get to work burning up because it is deathly hot right now out here, dude. We're having record temperatures because, you know, California's known for being fucking hot. So, but we can always ride our scooters because we don't have any rain. Ha! But anyway... Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, little update on that. So I'm going to show you what I did. So basically I just bumped up the power so that I can get the 25 to 26 back. Every time it drops from that, I'm, I'm just going to keep it at a 26 mile an hour. Okay. Like I, the 24, I just can't do it. So, uh, this first test is going to be like a lowest settings pertaining to me, to my needs. Uh, at least you get this at least you get something 26 miles an hour because I don't think anybody's gonna make a video of draining the whole thing on 15 you might uh, with the dual Storm limited but not many people have it if they do they don't make too, too much comprehensive videos on it like I do but anyway let me show you what we're at okay so we're at 66 uh, percent 86 um, battery uh, voltage uh, so Whoops, that's the wrong one. So what I changed was the power setting. Oh, crap, I passed it, hold on. Okay, so you see the power is at 63, okay? So uh, initially it was at 60, if you guys remember from the last video, it was at 60. So all I did when I, when I first got on it I seen that it was going so slow, it was going 24, so I just kind of bumped up the power little by little uh, until it got to 25 to 26 miles an hour, and I left it. When it drops again, and that was at 71 uh, percentage battery, just so you guys know. So note that in. That was not at 66, which you see right now on the way, and this was on the way to the job today. I'm at the job, and I started from at home at 71, now it's at 66, okay? So just bear that in mind, okay? So, um, yeah. And when it goes down again, and it goes to 24, I'm gonna bump it up again. I'll, I'll notify you when that happens, when it, what, and I'll tell you the percentage that it did and when I bumped it up, um, I'll, I'll keep you updated. But um, that's pretty much it for right now. I didn't change any of the other settings too. I'm kinda just, this is gonna be kinda like, I guess my own personal lowest settings, possible and maybe a lot of people are like me like god this is like the bare minimum 26 and that is slow so yeah that's pretty much it for now let's give you guys the update on that let's check the mileage um and like i said dude you guys we're not gonna get significant like crazy range like they say 136 unless if you're on like 15 miles an hour like i mean i really i don't know i highly doubt it's gonna do any of that but the thing is it is a bigger battery and it's going to get you more range than um, than, than uh, at least my Storm, definitely a 31 amp hour battery. It's going to get more than that. But it's not going to get, it'll get more than a Thunder 2, but not, I don't think it'll be a crazy difference. Like I don't think, because the Thunder 2 has a 40 amp hour battery. That's still really good. This one is a 45 amp hour battery. So it's, it's, it's bigger, but it's not that big. But mine is just, I just had to get the biggest period you know even if it's a little bit to me every little bit counts but i think the difference will be kind of negligible between the thunder 2 and the uh, uh storm limited so i mean if you're just like me and you want the most 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 you know what i mean it's it, that's just the way it is but you're just fine with a thunder 2 as well but i just need the most range uh so yeah that's pretty much it guys so i will keep you updated hold on let me see let's check the miles here trip is at 42 so we've done 42 miles uh so far okay so yeah i'm gonna keep you guys all right uh we'll see you in the next video hey what's up guys all right we are back again with another update now i'm coming with an update because you know i've been writing it you know a couple of days or whatever writing it just to work back and forth to work um, I showed you guys what that mileage is, so they're just adding them up until the battery dies. Uh, but as I went, you know, I increased the power 
as in the power percentage. Let's see what the uh, power percentage is that I bumped it up to. I don't remember. If the last one was 63. I'm not sure if it was 63. But let's just see what it is now. Okay. Uh, 66. Okay, so if it was 63, I've bumped it up 3. Okay. Main point is I know I bumped it up some as it dropped to 24. Uh, now, yeah, just keep in mind, guys, this is the way I'm doing it. Uh, I've decided to stay at 25 to 26 miles an hour. I mean, you, you'd be surprised how much just 24 miles an hour makes a difference. Like, it's just it's just too slow and annoying. Like, I can't do it. So, but anyways, I just wanted to show you that update. Every time I have to, you know, power it up a little bit, increase the power, I'm going to show you, whatever. Remember, there's multiple ways to do this. You don't have to do it the way I do it, but... This is the way I'm doing it. So, you know, you could just use the gears so you don't have to go through all that. But anyway, that's just a quick update. We'll continue until this battery runs out. This is killing me, guys. So I hope it really helps because this is so annoying riding this slow every day. But all right, I'll see you in the next update. All right, guys. So we are back and the battery on the Door Trunk Storm Limited is finally dead. Um, it's been sitting here. For almost a week or two weeks because I really didn't have any time to wear down the last little bit of battery trying to get it as close to low as possible um, cutoff point is 69 69 is considered empty and we got it to 71.6 so it's it's completely empty you're not gonna get far you're not gonna get nowhere on this so all right so what I consider what is tolerable for me as a lowest settings, this is what, you know, the results are going to be. So let's check and see what the mile says. Okay. Let's see here. Trip. Okay. So 87.6 miles. Okay. 87.6 miles. Now, this is um, pertaining to my weight, um, you know, so everybody will vary in my settings. Now, this was on settings going between 25 to 27 miles an hour on a 200 pound rider, okay? So keep that in mind. This is going from 25 to 27 miles an hour on a 200 pound rider, okay? If you are lighter than me, this will vary, okay? Um, if you were to ride this on fi at 15 miles an hour, you probably get more. But as I said, I just could not do it. It's too fucking slow. It's annoying as hell, so no. But 20, 25 to 27, that's decent. Still slow, but that's the best I can do. Let's go over the settings so you guys can see what it's on. The most important ones p7 is at three that's acceleration which is like the middle uh p8 we ultimately ended up getting to 75 percent now remember as i told you i was raising it and lowering it on the fly because as the battery got lower i started to drop to like um 23 or 24 miles an hour it's amazing how much of a difference 23 and 24 to 27 miles an hour makes but you really feel it and I just kept upping the power percentage this right here is the uh, power percentage p8 you know as it went oh and eco mode pushed in all right guys now I want you to keep in mind that this is not the bare minimum it's not the lowest that you can go the lowest it would be uh, let's see here you go through go to p7 and we put this I had it on three we put it to five go to p8 and then you could put fucking power at five percent but it'd probably be better to do like you could do 50 percent say You could go like this the entire time, 50% the entire time, whatever. And then obviously for the motor torque, we'll be on level one. 
and then eco mode would be pushed in that would be considered the lowest of the low that you can possibly do uh, which i did not do um, the results may have been different but i'm not sure how much different but um somebody else is gonna have to do it because that's just too slow for me but um 87 miles for 27 uh, 25 to 27 miles an hour is pretty good. Um, it's the farthest you're going to get on any battery as of right now as a 200 pound rider unless you have a 60 amp hour battery that you know you get a custom made you know battery or you maybe find one on Ali, Baba, whatever but you know then there's issues with that I need something reliable but I'm saying for an average consumer's perspective when just you know wanting to buy one of those scooters from the big dog as of right now um, this is what's going to get you the most miles. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. There you go. We finally got to this range test. Um, I think I'm like the only person with a range test out there because I checked the videos frequently. I may have missed them. Uh, I didn't check for any, uh, you know, small time content creators. These are the people I love watching people who are not super big and you know paid by companies to say good things but there are big companies are uh, not big company big big content creators are on the verge of being a company whatever that give good solid information not everybody who's really big some people are like nah dude i'm gonna tell it like it is but anyway as you could see for uh the best one is like for uh part six the last one part six technically part five but um the last one would that would get you the most amount of range it was 87 miles I think it was go back and watch I think it's 87 miles and 87 miles is pretty decent for like around a 27 mile an hour range you know 27 and some change you know um, that's really good okay because that's just like going on a, a lime scooter or a bird scooter or something like that and just being able to take that thing like super far you know because it amazed me how many people like to cruise at 27 miles an hour or 25 miles an hour or 30 miles an hour and they don't have a problem with that um, but they want to go ex an extensive amount of miles but there's no way that a bird if you buy something like a, a, a nine bot max or something like that some kind of typical commercial scooter it's never going to get you 87 miles so um, the only way to get that is to have something with a big battery like my, my storm limited um, or a dualtron x X2. I think the original X actually has a bigger battery than the X2. I think it's a 50 amp hour. Got to check that though. I may be wrong, but still a 45 amp hour battery is going to get you a lot of range. Okay. Now this is real world range. As I told you, okay, you are not going to get 136 going 50 to 40 miles and 45 miles an hour, just gunning it the whole time. You're not, but for me getting, um, what did I get? Check it again if I'm wrong, 50 miles, like around 50 miles going, um, you know, on the highest setting, going fast most of the time, like almost all the time, 50 plus. Dude, that's insane. That's amazing for a 200 pound rider at that. If you are a 140 pound rider, you will get more guaranteed. And that 87 may turn into, I don't know, maybe 100 and something. Maybe you may be close to that 136. But um, I, I highly doubt it. You'd have to be going very slow i think to get that 136 maybe 15 miles an hour and that's something i just could not do guys it's too slow but again 87 miles is really good i i and, and let me tell you i've been doing been able to do more deliveries on it and it's been so amazing man i love this damn scooter because i've been able to strap my bag on and do 10 mile um orders um 11 miles two of them back to back you know, I've been, because those are the orders that give you the most money. But, you know, if I didn't have my storm and my storm limited, I would not be able to get as much money as I'm getting like right now. Like getting the storm with the extra battery was such a good investment because I'll take my storm out, run it. And because I found a way to get car status so they can give me far um, orders. Get those super high amounts of money without any problems getting their return, uh, getting to the delivery place on time where I'm supposed to deliver on time, coming, going back. As soon as it's about to die, I'll stop at like maybe 45, 46 miles, which is crazy insane on um, 
you know, good, decent settings where I'm going 45, 40 miles an hour the whole time, even faster, and then come back and get my storm with both of my storm batteries and then just run that on the highest setting, dude, I'm making bank because I'm getting only the big amounts and I don't have to pay for gas, okay? You see, there's reasons why I got my scooters. Now for part five and part two, as you can see, the mile differences were very minimal. And that's due to me being stubborn on the speed. Um, like for instance, on part two, you know, I got 52 miles as opposed to part one, that was 51. You know, the point for part two is to uh, be able to get more mileage, but that's, you'd, you'd probably have to, uh, lower the power limit a little bit more. It doesn't have to be quite 50, but some kind of a range in there. But um, the speeds, I just didn't want to, you know, jeopardize. Plus, those speeds that I had were, you know, pretty decent. You know, those were all good level from, dip from each different level from one to two to three. Those speeds were like, in my opinion, good locked in. So um, there was a four mile gain in part five. Uh, and then part two was just a one mile, but I'm pretty sure if you tweak the settings, you can get it to get more. Like I said, there's so many different variations. There's so many different things. The main point is you guys can see me doing this, even though you see it only gets four miles. It's like, okay, if I tweak this and this, it gives you a really good idea because you could look at it like, well, he only, um, altered the overall motor torque and this is what he got you know he got 64 so if i tick da 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 do this you know it gives you a good idea uh since you see me do that already and you know you want to get more than that you know what's going to happen if you're my same weight uh going the same speed and you know all that um then yeah it just gives you a good idea so yeah pretty much that's it Yes, and also take into account the conditions, okay? So, these are the conditions that I wrote under, okay? Warm to hot weather on all the days, okay? No no crazy wind or crosswinds. There were no crosswinds at all affecting my speed. So, wind conditions are normal, okay? Weight is 200 pounds plus my gear to be safe, 210 pounds, okay? So, those are the conditions. And, and when it comes to hills, no hills, okay? The only hills I can say is just high terrain, but um, just, you know, regular terrain hills, you know, when you're on a street and you're going uphill and you're going down here, but minor, minor inclinations, not like major, not like a real hill. So just normal inclinations. So those were the conditions. And then also, I know I said it a bunch of times in the video, I just wanna say it again. Um, you can uh, make it to where you want you want to cap the mile an hour by using the gears on there one two and three just set the power limit or something and then you can make it to where you can just flip the gears um one two three you know to limit speed that'll even limit speed better uh i just chose to use the power percentage to control the power and also keep in mind as i said um you know at the time of making this video uh, this is one of the scooters with the, you know, the biggest battery that you're going to get, where you're going to get the most range. Um, aside from the WePad FS or the WePad SST, uh, the WePad FS has a 50 amp hour battery. Um, the WePad SST, um, I think that actually doesn't have, I think that it's like a 40 amp or something, or maybe below. But the WePad FS has um, a 50 amp hour battery, so that's even slightly bigger than my Storm and the Dualtron X2, but I don't, like I said in the video, the Dualtron X, the original Dualtron X, I believe is a 50 amp hour. Ask John Richardson, if you ever go to his channel, message him, I think it's 50. Uh, but of course they don't distribute the Dualtron X anymore, so it's either you have one or you can find a used one, I don't know. Um, but for the most part, the Dualtron X3 uh, supposedly will have a 60 amp hour. And as you guys seen the video that I did on the Dualtron X3, which is the limited, but technically it's the Dualtron X3 pretty much, um, is the only thing I was salty about is that it has a 60 amp hour battery because, yeah, I sure would love my limited to have that. But so it's not quite the biggest battery. I'm pretty sure that... Um, 
Dotron X Limited is out now or something. I just don't follow it because I'm not interested. I just looked it up and did a you know review on it with the specs and everything. But uh, technically, that as of right now, aside from like Alibaba or AliExpress, I'm not talking about that. Uh, more mainstream, more known scooters. I think that it has the biggest battery currently right now. So, but as I said. My downside on the X is that it's too big. I love my Storm Limited because it's super powerful, it's fast, it's an 84 volt system, um, it has a 45 amp hour battery, and it's not so big. It's not super huge and bulky, like that's just too much, you know? So that's why I, I love my Storm. First of all, I love my Storm Limited. It's a complete beast, it's super fast, but it's not for everybody, okay? Every every scooter is suited for certain people, okay? Some people don't care about power. Some people care about power. Some people don't care about range. Some people care about range. But for the most part, as the scooter market stands, it's pretty much going by, like, how much you pay is by how much power and range you get. That is a fact. So, uh, yeah, other than that, it's a great scooter. And if you get it, you're going to love the fucking range on it. I'm telling you that. <laughs> I hope it helps out. And now you know what real world range will get. You know, no crazy cuts and music and all the fancy stuff. I just don't have time to do that. I'm just a regular dude getting information to the people. Okay. This is my own style. It's not perfect. Okay. The information is there. That's all you need to uh, worry about. That's the only thing you're there for is to get the information. Uh, so that you can make a good purchase decision. Um, so shout out to everybody who supported me and shout out on my last video. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, a couple of people were saying, hey, man, how can I support you? Shoot your donation or whatever. And I never really set anything up yet uh, because I'm just so busy. I just want to get the videos out. I mainly just want to get the videos out to you guys so you guys can be like, oh, shit. OK, yeah. And you get some information. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to put a like a cash app link or something and if you if you want to donate it's not mandatory but if you want to that's cool you know for my time or whatever because man this dual Storm limited range text took a lot of my time man holy cow as you guys know uh more than welcome some people were actually asking me how can i donate man you're giving us a lot of good information and i'll put that in there and it'll be optional it'll just say it there if you can you know but yeah Appreciate you guys watching, man. Shout out to everybody. Hope you guys are all doing good. And I'll see you in the next video.